intentional in your life about knowing the picture of what could be, what should be, but what must be. Because it's one thing to have a dream in your heart. And I think a lot of us have dreams in our heart does not mean that we're truly living into what we think life should really be, that we are making intentional steps and actually having intentional real progress towards those things. Having a vision is really having a clear picture that produces passion in us in any area of life that we choose. Now, I know that there's more than one area of your life. Obviously, we're talking about career and achievement, and we're talking about purpose and those kinds of things. Those are really important parts that, um, as we're talking about our coaching career and everything else. And of course, vision can be applied to that, but it can be applied to your relationships. It can be re- uh, applied to your family, your income, anything that is important to you you really want to have a picture for it because as we've said before some people you know everybody ends up somewhere some people get there on purpose vision is about having a purpose and knowing what that picture looks like because if our life right now is not how we pictured it to be then we have a choice in our uh, in our life at this point regardless of how old you are no matter how young no matter how old at any point we can make we can think about that picture of life And we can actually make drastic steps, massive steps towards those things. And last week, we were talking specifically about uh, dialing into what's most important because what's happening in us influences the kinds of change that we want to see because internal change has to happen before we see external change. And I'm going to stay on that vein because really what we're talking about this week is that if you change your program, you change your life. What do I mean by a program? Well, what I mean by a program, or you can use the word paradigm, is really when we look at our life, that there is a totality of how we think things are going to go, how we expect things to go. And they're really a combination of a number of different things. And what I'll do really quickly is I'm going to try to whiteboard a few of those so that you can see what I'm really talking about here, is that in our life, as we're looking at our lives, And let's say that this is you in the present. Well, when you got here in the present, there were some things that were actually taking place. If you think of a program, and I'll write the word program on here. It's kind of big, huh? Let me see if I can make this a little bit smaller. So if we have a program that's running, really what we're talking about is that we're talking about beliefs. We're talking about perceptions. We're talking about our past experiences, really. We're also talking about our daily habits. All of those things fit in here. You know, how we go about our life, the habits that we have. Also, our habit of trying to avoid pain, because that's what we spend a lot of our time doing in our life, is avoiding what we find painful. But we can also think about this as essentially how we believe things work. And I could kind of give you a couple of ways that we could describe that. What I think is possible for me what I think I can do What I don't think that I can do. That's another way that we can say it. Also, going back to pain, how much pain am I willing to tolerate? Because the reality is, is that there's pain for not having what you want in your life, but A lot of times people are willing to tolerate it. And here's another one. Here's a big one. How powerless I feel. Because you know what? If you don't really believe that you can control your life, if you feel like whatever is going on in your life, you don't really have control over it, you can't really come into the kind of life that you really want, that vision, you know what? That's going to keep you from being able to actually move forward in your life. 
all of these things, and we could probably say that there are more, there's definitely better ways of actually defining it and more clear ways, but I'm going to stop right there. This is what we're really talking about. Is that every one of us who are sitting here today have a program that's functioning in our life. Matter of fact, we have multiple programs in our life. And here's what I'll say about programs, because I think that people kind of misunderstand how change actually happens, because what I'm going to assume is that the vision that you have for your life requires change, that you want to see something different around in and around you than what you presently see. But there's some wrong assumptions that people have about getting that change. And here's what I mean by that. Like some people believe that they can actually achieve that vision. They can get exponential change in their life by just growing in knowledge. That some people think, well, you know what? If I grow in knowledge, if I get some more training, even if I accomplish something, there's a lot of people who really believe that that's going to bring about change in their life and it's going to help them accomplish their vision. Well, here's what I'll say about that. Because that's a wrong assumption. That's a false assumption. Because really, that's true with career change when you're learning a new skill. Because sometimes when you learn a new skill or you gain knowledge, you go to college or you go to a trade school or whatever it is, is that when you do a career change, the assumption is if I go out and I get more knowledge and I acquire new skills, then I achieve a new value. I up my value. So that means that I'll get paid more. Now, getting paid more might be some portion of your vision, but how many of you know that you can accomplish something that you can, like how many of us have accomplished like some kind of training or learning, or maybe we went to school or maybe we went, went, went and got a degree, but it didn't really do inside of us and give us confidence in our life that we could actually live into what, like we're smarter technically and we have, but there's something inside of us that was still telling us that we could never be as successful as someone else. Like how many of us went to school with people who are not as smart as us or as not in, and I'm not, it's okay to say that. Like there's people that you know that you're smarter than, right? That you went to school with. There's people that you know that you are smarter than, that you are more talented than, but they seem to have lived into a fuller vision of what actually you wanted in your life. How many of us know that that's true? What is it? Is it in spite of the knowledge, training, accomplishment, even the accomplishment does not change the program that's going in us. And here's what I will say about that program that's functioning in you. It's predictable because where you will, uh, where you will be in life is because you have already plotted a course, your program has, and there won't be a big deviation for the rest of your life. You know why? Because you can't outperform your program and you cannot go further than the program in you. Let me see if I can give you another little picture of it. Let me get my picture of my guy again. See, because where you are in the present right now, like this is you in the present. This is you in the present. But we have to understand that what we have here is that we really have a timeline. And if I looked at the timeline, and let's say that this is the future and this is the present. Well, honestly, to get to the present, we all understand that to get to the present where you are right now, that there was a timeline of things that got you there. And do you know what got you there? What got you there is the program that's running in you right now. Your program, it's very predictable what your future will be like. You know, if your program stays the same, your program is going to get you the same results because that's what it's actually designed to do. When I say it's predictable, I'm not trying to be offensive in it. A program is supposed to be predictable. You know what a program does? It gets you the same result and the same expectations every time. Like if we were if we were working on like if if you were opening every day, let's say that your word processing program, that sounds funny, word processing program. If you open up Microsoft Word, or for you, Mac people, Word Perfect or whatever you use, but if you're using Microsoft Word and you opened it up one day and it looked like Excel and you couldn't format any of this stuff and you couldn't write sentences and you couldn't write a letter, I think that you would be frustrated and you would at least, at the very least, you would be surprised that this is not what this program does and it's not supposed to. Program gets you the same results. You know what it does? A program 
keeps you safe because it's predictable. You know what your program's doing? Your program's keeping you out of pain. Your program's keeping you in survival mode. Your program's keeping you away from any threats. That's why when we look at this thing of what our daily habits are, avoiding pain, all of this other stuff, your programs are wired so that you are not surprised in your everyday life. And that's a good thing. That's an assuring thing. It's actually the very thing that's keeping you where you are right now. Because here's what I will, here's what I will show you. In your life, let's say that you are age zero here. And then I can go over here and maybe say age 18. And then maybe I can say age whatever, 20 something, whatever. And you got your college degree. Here's what happened with regard to your program and maybe the vision over your life. Is that there is a certain amount of learning that happens in your life that maybe your high school and maybe your college or whatever or your vocational school got you to a certain level in your career towards your vision, right? But the reality is, is that this program that you have in you actually got started getting wired back here. Garbage in, garbage out. You didn't really filter much. And you know what you learned from past experiences? You formed beliefs, you formed habits and everything else. And here's what's true, is that for most people, there's really not, and I would say probably to about right here, and this usually has to do with career, making money and everything else, there's not anything drastic that happens at a certain point. Like, here's what, here's what I can say is predictable. Probably, probably, if you're like most people, no matter what age you are in the present or anything else, no matter the fact that unless you've gotten extravagant training and you've made a big career change, your money probably hasn't changed a whole lot over the last 10 to 20 years. Probably not quadrupled in income, right? Probably not doubled in income. That's just one aspect. But if you looked at anything in your life, not that we're not getting better and not that we're not improving and not that we are not growing, because we are, but what I'm talking about is exponential. Like really what we're talking about is that if I tracked back to zero, like from when I was really little, you, for most people, their present really isn't that much higher. It's almost, it almost looks a little bit plateauish. It's some modest increases, but we're not seeing the drastic stuff, which if this is my vision, if this is the ultimate of what I want in my life, most of us have to agree that that picture is pretty far away. And here's one thing that I will tell you is that your program got you this far. And unless you change your program, you're not going to get what you actually want in your life because your program is designed to keep you where you are right now. You might be able to get some knowledge and some training and possibly change career. Like I think for all of us, for the most part, if we went and got trained and, uh, and now suddenly we're all doctors or something, that would probably change our income. That would probably change some other kinds of things around our life for the most part, right? But it doesn't mean that it's actually getting you towards your vision in your career, in your purpose, in the things that you want for your family and your relationships, all those other things. You know what that's going to require? It's going to require a difference in the way that you perceive people. If you want a relationship to change, you're going to have to think differently. You're going to have to see pain in your life a little bit differently. You're going to have to stop avoiding some of the hard conversations that you need to have with your spouse. That's going to require a different program because I avoid the hard conversations because I don't want the pain and the baggage that goes with it. So I'm going to tolerate a life that I don't really want that does not look like my vision because my program is telling me, no, that would be too fa painful. That would be too difficult. That would be too hard. So we have to understand that there's these things that are functioning in us that where we say, well, here's what I think is possible in my life. Here's what I think that I can do. Here's what I don't think that I can do. Here's how much pain I'm willing to tolerate. And here's a lot of us act like we're powerless and nothing can happen when the truth is, is that if you think differently, if you truly have a different program functioning in you, you can uh, then you can say yes to anything that you want. Here's an example of that. Um, a few days ago, we have this area of town that we know that there are there's a lot of drug activity that happens around it. 
it's this place and it's kind of in the woods and there's always nice i'll see i'll see nice cars that are out there and then i'll also see homeless people and so it's kind of weird it's like what is this place but we know that there's a lot of illegal activity that goes down there and sometimes you'll see cops over there and everything else well i'm driving through there but i would still say that for the vast majority of people that i see over there they have a certain look about them and everything else and you can kind of like i know what those people are about you know they're got nefarious activities going on and stuff like that. Well, the other day when I was driving past there, I see uh, this young girl. And I, I can say young girl because I'm old. I'm almost 50 years old, all right? So when I say young girl, um, she's probably like 20 years old. She's probably around the ages, one, one of the ages of my daughter, uh, one of my daughters, one of my older daughters. And when I saw her, the thing is, is that she stood out that she did not look like she belonged there at all. And I was like, man, what is going on that this, this girl's finding herself in this? And then I've started to see her a couple of other times when I've driven around there. And I can tell that she's got things going on in her life because she is also scratching her body as though she's, for those of you who don't know the signs of things, um, I used to live in a community in San Diego where there would be a lot of people walking around that kind of looked like that, where they were tweaking and they would be scratching themselves and some of those other things. And so I knew some of those signs to look for. And my guess was, my assumption and what I was seeing is that this girl's probably prostituting herself down there to get free drugs or get money or whatever. Now, I'm driving past there. It's heartbreaking to me. Drive past there with my 18-year-old daughter. And I was like, I was like, do you see that? I was like, you see that girl right there? Because and, and I'm looking at her. I'm like, this girl can't be much older than my own daughter. And I was like, she doesn't fit in that picture at all, does she? But she believes that she fits in that picture and that she doesn't have any options. And now she's selling her body for drugs or money or whatever. And my daughter's sitting there. That's so sad that anyone would feel that terrible about themselves that they would give themselves away and throw themselves at it. Now, there's some people who would be like, oh, you know, by the grace of God, that could be me, but I'm over here. No, that's not actually true at all. Now, I believe in God and I believe in God's grace. Don't get me wrong about that. But the reality is, is that what we're talking about is the program that runs someone. Because if I went down there with my daughter and she looked at her and my daughter locks eyes with her and my daughter says to her, listen, you don't have to do this. You don't have to you don't have to make this choice. Listen, you could go get a job. Like you could she could tell her a bunch of different things and you know what she would be telling her? She would be telling her the truth because the truth is really powerful, isn't it? But do you know what's more powerful than truth? Is belief. It's the program that's running you. Because my daughter locks eyes with this girl and she looks at her and she says, "This could never be my life. I would never feel this way about my life." And this girl looks at my daughter and she says in her heart, that could never be my life. I could never see myself as that. Do you understand that the, the paradigm, the program that's running there is determining, it is already determined what's getting ready to happen. And unless there's something drastically that shifts, it's great to have this in your heart and to say, here's what, I, here's what my, the picture of my life would look like. But unless you actually change the program, you will never come into what you really want in your life, which is this right here. Let me give you a couple of more slides on this. I hope this is encouraging you. And that wasn't such a bummer or a buzzkill of an example. See, we got to change our wrong assumptions on getting exponential change because if you can act from a different program, you can get different results than what you're getting right now. Because every one of you have to understand, if there's any limitations in your life, you have to understand that every question you currently have comes from your old program that you've had wired in you since you were a baby. You have to understand that every limitation that you have in your life right now is coming from a program that has been fed you since you were a little child. You have to also understand that every disqualifier, every question, every thought that you believe that this is not possible for my life, where does it come from? It comes from an old program that has been running since you were really young. Everything, every question that you have in your mind, every doubt that you have in your, in your life, every Every time you get stuck and you feel like you can't move forward, program, 
The program is running. It's always running. Anything that makes you stop, anything that makes you doubt, anything that keeps you exactly where you are, if you haven't seen drastic progress, for some of you who have already gotten trained and certified and you haven't gotten traction, there's a program running, I'm telling you. For some of you who have been flirting around becoming a coach, you've Googled it more than one or two times and you've been looking into it, there's a program running. It's not about money. It's never about that. There's a doubt in your heart that you can do this. There's a doubt. There's something in you that believes that it's possible for Paul, but it's not possible for me. You know what that is? It's a program. If you believe that you don't have power in your life to change this thing, it's a program. And I'm telling you, if you confront the program, if you change the program, you can change your life. So how do we begin to do that? Well, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you actually begin to change the program. First of all, is always getting a crystal clear vision. If you do not know the picture that you want in your life, then you can't get keep your choices clear. I said this in week one. A clear picture of what you want helps you really get motion, momentum in your life, and it helps you say no to some of the things that you've got to begin saying no. You've got to get detailed about what that actually looks like. Here's the, here's the next thing that you're going to begin to ask is that you've got to ask what program is required for me to achieve my vision. Let me go back to my picture over here because I want you to understand this. If it wasn't clear a while ago, see, right now with this present program in mind, present program is also where your future is going to be because I want you to understand that there are thoughts and there are actions that are linked to this thing. And so what I'll, what'll end up happening is that I'll keep having the same program. Shouldn't be surprised. You know what a program is like? See that little thing? It's GPS. Wouldn't you be surprised if you typed in Walmart on your Google Maps on your phone and it brought you to Target? Unless they were in the same parking lot. Wouldn't you be surprised if you typed in a grocery store you know, your local grocery store, you know, Trader Joe's or whatever, and it brought you to Petco, wouldn't you be a little bit surprised? Wouldn't you be a little bit frustrated? But because GPS is supposed to get you what you want, right? And so we shouldn't be surprised that if we have a program, the GP, program's a GPS. It's going to give you what you want. And so if we have these directions, if we have this system in place, you can't expect that you're ever going to be except maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse, but we're not going to be this. So what that really means is, is that up here is that there is a program that looks like this vision. It means what must I believe about my present condition, about myself? I have to ask these questions. What must I believe right now for this vision to come in place? What should, what should my perceptions be to live into this vision? What do my habits have to become to be this? I don't think that it takes a lot to figure this out. What kinds of pain? How do I need to see, see pain? What am I avoiding? What am I tolerating in my life that I can never tolerate again? What about possibilities? What kind of possibilities do I need to begin to see in my life? What do I need to know about being victim or responsible? What do you mean by that, Paul? I mean that you've got to drop victim mentality in any area. You're not powerless. You're powerful. See, all of these things that we have to actually believe that we can. How can I? These are the different kinds of questions that you have to you have to ask. And we have to take on that paradigm, which means both things. It means if thoughts and actions gets us what we want right now, then it means that up here new thoughts, new action has to align with the vision. Last week I talked about the fact that you need to know what's most important in your life and allow that to lead you because that ends up aligning you. But here's the other thing is that if your beliefs your perception, your habits in your life are not in alignment with your vision, you're toast already before you ever begin. Listen, I don't have to wait until I've checked off all the boxes to start believing like this person. 
I mean, let's think about it. Like whatever is hard for you right now, like here's an example, Tony Robbins. We'll just throw somebody like that out there. Not that you like him or whatever, but we can say that he's been successful in the transformational uh, part of the part of the world, right? In that in that niche. If Tony Robbins, you know, graduated from Life Coach Training Institute, do you think that he would be a success? I think that we would all agree. Yeah, he's going to be successful. How do we know? Because he's walking around with a certificate from us. I don't think so, because I already told you earlier that accomplishment and knowledge isn't really going to help you that much. What we do know that about, about, about Tony Robbins is that he probably believes something about himself differently. He probably has a different perception of the world than we do. He's looking at the world through different lenses. He probably has different habits. He's probably not afraid of some of the things that we're afraid of. He's probably not tolerating things that we're tolerating in our life. He probably doesn't see himself as a victim. He's probably not questioning whether things are in the realm of possibility. Some of you think, well, once stuff starts happening, then I can believe that it's possible. And I'm telling you that that's bull crap because the program gets you what you want. And right now you have what you want, uh, what you don't want, because there's a program that's actually running. This is how we begin to change it. Is that if it's possible for Tony Robbins to be successful, Maybe one of the easy things is that you could say is, I need to start thinking like some of the people think, start believing about myself and about my life and about the world, like some of these other people who, want, who are successful in certain areas that we really want to be. You know, if you're not able to picture it for yourself, you can probably say, this, per probably, this person probably has different habits than me. This, probably, this person's probably not spending three hours on Instagram every day. Like if, I, if that's what I'm doing, unless we're actually building a business around it. But we have to understand is that they actually have different habits. They have different ways of thinking and they have different ways of relating and everything else. So if we want to change the program, first of all, get a crystal clear vision and start asking what program is required for me to achieve my, my vision. You can also ask what are the biggest programs that threaten my vision? Because there's some things that you believe right now and you have functioning and habits in you that are much more crippling than other ones. You know what? If you go after those first, then you're going to get the most success. Listen, I, I understand if you have 50 things that you don't like about yourself, you have 50 frustrating things, you have 50 bad habits. Well, listen, 50 bad habits are 50 bad habits. There's probably one or two of them that are crippling you a lot more than other things. Like if you bite your nails, that's not, that's probably a nasty habit. It's probably not keeping you from success unless you're trying to be a nail model. That's a possibility. But for the most part, there's certain habits that aren't affecting us nearly as much, but you might have a really nasty habit of not putting yourself out there. You might have yourself a nasty habit of not being consistent in your life and what you know that you're supposed to do and you're avoiding the hard stuff or you're avoiding failure or whatever. You need to know what those programs are that are actually affecting your vision the most. Here's another thing, is that you need to begin right now to remember and practice the moments where you know you had what you needed to be successful. What do, you, what do I mean by that? I mean that right now there's probably a part in your life because what we're really good at is reliving our worst moments and thinking the worst about us. I want you to start remembering and relive the best moments, the aspects of you that show you that you can absolutely do whatever it is. That, that picture of the future, you've probably lived into it. You've probably been that person who could sustain that and do that. Relive those. Give yourself permission and only permission to look at yourself in the best light, it, giving yourself the most benefit of the doubt, giving yourself the perspective of like, hey, before this happened to me, this is who I really was. I can embrace that. Here's the other thing that I would say is that you need to begin to use repetition, emotion, and movement. What do I mean by that? What, I, what we have to understand is that the program didn't just start yesterday. The program that you have functioning in you happened because of repetition of things that you told yourself, things that were told to you things that you cycled through and you kept doing, usually the mistakes that we make, we usually keep making them. Some of the limitations that we have. You know, there's certain things that I confront now in my life that I wouldn't confront for a really long time. 
I really struggled. We really we lost everything in 2008. We lost everything, and I and you know what I did? I just I didn't even have the strength to answer the phone because I knew the call was going to be somebody saying, "Where's our money? You're late on this or whatever." We lost everything. I didn't even have the strength to pick up the phone. It's like, man, if I can just change my phone number or something like that, like I'm not even going to answer the phone. Like I can't deal with it. Yesterday, I had bad news come in the mail. Whenever you see the IRS uh, and it's not doesn't look like a check through that window, you know it's probably bad news. And it was bad news. And you know why I had bad news yesterday? I had bad news yesterday because the payroll company that I work with made some big mistakes that I discovered at a certain point at the beginning of the year when we were getting ready to file our taxes. And you know what that ended up doing? To get them to correct everything else meant that they had to correct a bunch of stuff with them. And it was also made, made us late. And you know what happened when we were late? Fines. That's what happens when you're late. And you know what? I looked at that thing and I'm like, you know what? I believe there's two things that happen. One is I was ready to confront it. One way that I might have confronted it some years uh, that I started confronting things is like, you know what? I'm going to get on this as painful as it is. I'm just going to get on here, pay this bill and not worry about it. That was one side of me. I was ready to confront it. But one thing that I looked at, I was like, you know what? Most people believe that these people completely suck and they just want our money and they don't care about people. But I'm going to believe something different. I'm going to believe that I can call this 800 number and I'm going to get a human and I'm just going to tell them what happened. And you know what? If the hammer falls, well, the hammer's already fallen, right? Can it get any worse? So you know what I did? It was literally earlier today. Put that call in, 800 number, boom, uh, the, the answering thing comes on, says that I'm gonna have to wait for 30 or 40 minutes. Well, you know what I did? Is I just drove around, I had errands to run, that phone just stayed on there, you know, just on hold forever. Finally, a guy gets on there and I'm like, I didn't even have my number in front of me. I was like, hey, can you give me a second? And I just tell him what's been going on. Like, hey, here's what's happened, you know. And and he's like, well, let me just see what, you, what we can, uh, he didn't say what we can do for you. Let me see what is available for you. Like, as though I, that he needed to prove of something. One thing is for sure is that our records are impeccable. The taxes are paid, all of that other stuff. It's just that this thing ended up being late and everything else. And it was really out of my control. So I had to sit for about another 10 minutes on hold while he was on there. And you know what? I'm totally at peace because I believe that something good could possibly happen. And you know what happened? Gets on the phone and they completely get rid of every fine that we were experiencing. Now, that's probably almost a miracle story. But you know what? The Paul Dabdu 10 years ago would not have even probably made that call. Probably would have been like, you know what? I'm powerless. I can't do anything. And these are evil people and all this. But you know what? The paradigm. The program in me has shifted. I'm ready to confront it. And I have a belief in humanity. And you know what? I was also open for the fact that he could probably tell me, you know what? You, you, I'm sorry. You know what the deadlines are and we can't do anything for you. And you know what? I was willing to concede that point, but I was at least willing to put myself out there and say, let's see what happens. 30 minute phone call saves a ton of money on the other end. And it was all because the program changed in me before something happens. Listen, like I said earlier, is that is that truth is an amazing thing. It can break you into, into reality that there are no limits on you. And I can tell you that, truthfully, there's no limits on you. You know people with fewer limbs than you, with less eyesight than you, with, with worse hair than you, with worse stories than you that are also living a greater vision and impact than you are. You know why that is? It's not because they got lucky one day. It's because of what program was actually running them. And we have to choose because truth can break you open, but it submits to belief every time. If you can change your program, you change your life. And these are some of the ways that we begin to do that. If I can start using repetition and emotion and movement in my life every day to say, you know what? What do I need to believe? Now I'm going to start thinking that way and I'm going to start acting. I'm going to think and I'm going to choose differently until it becomes a new habit, until I start reinforcing the way that I know that I need to think. Because what's truer? What I've experienced up to now or what I could experience in the future? What's truer? What's true of your life right now or what's true of Tony Robbins' life or any other fill-in-the-blank person that you think is successful? 
there's nothing more true about them than there is about you. So we can make that re our reality anytime that we want. All right, everyone, thanks so much for bearing with all of our technical difficulties over here and everything else, but we finally got it here at the end. Let me do this to pay the bills really quickly. If you have not gotten trained and certified as a coach, the best thing that I could offer is our Jumpstart program. Jumpstart is our uh, is a cross between, I was just say cross, it's two programs in one. You can get trained and certified as a coach through either our life coach certification course or through next weekend's boot camp, which is March 22nd through the 24th. Both of those programs are actually included in Jumpstart, which is $97 a month with a three month minimum commitment. Let me talk about what is included inside of Jumpstart. For one, next weekend, March 22nd through the 24th is our three day accelerated certification program. What we do is we start on Friday night with the first of seven powerful sessions. Session one is the foundations of coaching. Session two, the anatomy of a dynamic coaching session. Three, how to help your clients get extraordinary results. Sessions four and five are how to listen on a transformational level, how to ask powerful questions, and also how to establish a growing coaching practice. Every one of these sessions conclude with a live Q&A where you can ask me questions and also that you can connect with other students who are on the live with you that are attending globally. We also, throughout the weekend, have, uh, have live role playing. So what you're able to do is either practice as a client or as a coach. That way you can actually experience what coaching is like on both sides so that you can actually uh, develop and you can grow in your competencies. Here's the other thing that, uh, that we include in that weekend, not only the live seven sessions uh, that include Q and A's and role playing, you're also going to uh, walk away with a lot of different coaching tools. Not only are we gonna pack you up full of tools in your coaching tool belt through the weekend, but we also give you a coaching tool starter pack. It's five powerful tools that help you, uh, help you get your client's transformation really quickly. We also include uh, the 500 Powerful Coaching Questions ebook that I put together uh, that show you sample questions through every stage of a coaching session. You'll also get coaching agreement and intake samples. You will also get a brandable template for all of your invoicing, for your coaching agreements, all of those other kinds of things. All of these things are included as bonuses for the weekend. Obviously, you're going to earn your life coach certification and you're also going to get your certificate. Also included are HD replays and handouts. The cost is only $247. This is a program that's valued at $3,500. We're gonna go Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and you will walk away uh, with all of your training out of the way, you'll just knock out your assignments and then you've earned uh, you've earned your credential. Now you can get this included if you want to go for Jumpstart. All of that's included for $97 a month with a three-month minimum commitment. Jumpstart gives you an A to Z business development roadmap. Also, it gives you a mentoring call with all of the students who are part of Jumpstart. So we give you feedback on anything that you're working on. We also give you feedback on uh, if you give us recordings of your, your coaching if you have a website that you've launched, if you have a product that you've launched, anything that you need help in, we're there to support you so that you're not doing this thing alone. Also, you will get live Tuesday training. That is also an optional part. We also have included is your life coach certification course, which is self-paced. So you can set your own schedule. Through and through, we've thought of everything. We've literally answered every question that we've ever been asked in the last 10 years that we've been in business. And so, uh, so we understand coaches, we understand what it takes to be successful as a coach in terms of launching your coaching practice. And also we've helped thousands of coaches get uh, uh, break into the industry and become successful. The link is inside of the description. You can get enrolled in about 90 seconds and we can do this thing together. So listen, I appreciate you guys all immensely. 
Again, that link is inside of the description. Thanks for all your patience tonight. I know it's been a little bit crazy and a little bit bit hectic uh, that we just had to like start all over again and everything else. But those of you who came back and you are so gracious and everything else, I appreciate that so much. Listen, I, uh, I appreciate you guys all immensely spending your time with us tonight. Um, get enrolled. March 22nd through the 24th is our live boot camp weekend. It's a great time where you get to join with people from all over the world uh, and journey over the course of a weekend and knocking out your life coach certification. Listen, I appreciate you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week and take care.